if you want to apply for a Brazilian tourist visa, keep watching. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It is your girl Nils and I'm back with another video. So in this video, I'm going to be telling you the whole process on how to apply for a Brazilian tourist visa in 2022. First, before you want to apply for a Brazilian tourist visa, you need to know the purpose on which you're going to visit Brazil. A Brazilian tourist visa is for those who want to travel to Brazil for tourism purposes also if you want to travel to brazil for conferences events seminars then you need brazilian tourist visa everybody or anybody can apply for a tourist visa and i'm going to briefly talk about the requirements that you'll be needing processing time and validity of this visa if you're actually located or you're actually living in a country that is not your original country then you need to be a resident in that country if the brazilian embassy is not located in your country of origin then you can also move to a nearby country or the nearest embassy so these are the requirements the first thing you need to do is to search online go to google you can use google chrome you can use mozilla you can use any search engine and you search brazil embassy for example if i'm living in any country let's say thailand i will type brazil embassy thailand okay good enough the website always has three languages portuguese english and the language that is used in their country where the embassy is located open it up the way this embassy websites are designed it is the same color for all the websites all over the world and you search for consular service and then you search for the tourist visa i'm going to leave the link of the brazilian website in the description section the requirements are always stated there you proceed there are some requirements that um, will be more in some countries and maybe just one or two but i'm just going to give you the general requirements the first thing is to check on your country if you'll be needing a tourist visa most countries are visa free to brazil so you want to check if your country is being stated or listed among those people who travel free no, normally there is always a 690 days visa 180 days visa 30 days visa depending on the country and depending on their visa free waiver program so if you'll be requiring a brazilian visa here are the general requirements that you'll be needing but make sure you also check maybe there might be extra requirements the first thing is the online application form you have to click online it's going to take you to a database and then you fill your information there is a section where it's going to tell you when you want to get into brazil and how long you want to stay in brazil it is always good as a tourist not to take a very long time most people just like either ah, you're going to brazil to stay for two months you want to take two months if you're going to brazil to stay for a month you want to take a month no it is always good to take a shorter time if you start taking a longer time for example one month two months it starts with a red flag all right so even if you want to go stay for a month just take like maybe a week but then your the validity of the visa is going to be more than a month and you fill the application form when you completed it it's going to generate a page that has a barcode on there and that barcode is your application number and it's going to be uh, there's going to be a section where you have to sign your name and the date and the place where you are that application is valid for 90 days so if you don't do the rest of the other steps for 90 days then it's going to be cancelled next thing you'll be needing a passport you should have a six month validity and at least one blank page next thing you'll be needing is a three by four photograph just one on the white background next thing is flight reservation this is very important do not buy the flight ticket but you just do like a re reservation okay the next thing is a um, proof of financial means that's why i was trying to say if you take a longer time like if you state that you're going to stay for a month or two months then you have to prove that you can sustain yourself for two months that is why it's always good to take maybe a week or a few days maybe five days or a week okay especially if you're not traveling alone if you're traveling as a family it is always good to take a short time so that you can also prove that um, you have enough money it's going to be lesser proof bank statements or you want to show pay slips or you want to show letter of employment that carries your salary or if you have a company you want to prove the revenue of the company so there's something about the bank statement when you want to do a bank statement make sure that your bank statement has like a flow of money maybe there's a constant income that comes in and then you regularly use 
that account all right you don't just want to wait until maybe a few days to when you want to apply for your visa then you go ahead to put in huge amounts when you put in huge amounts especially just close to the time where you want to apply for a visa is also a red flag right because some embassies who take the bank statement very seriously others will really not if you're going for five days or one week you should have at least three thousand dollars for a single person if you're a family person ten thousand and above things accommodation you can also reserve an accommodation for the period of time some of the embassies don't actually ask for accommodation but it's very good accommodation and flight are the two most important things that you really need you have the application fee so the application fees you're going to be told how to pay that you want to pay it online or most of the embassies will tell you you pay the application fee at the embassy after your documents have been checked and everything is in place the next thing if you're living in a country which is not your country of origin then you have to prove your residence maybe if you're living there temporarily you also have to prove that you're living there temporary if you have a card or something or if you're actually working you want to show your work permit carry all those documents you should always have a photocopy and the originals you carry them to the embassy right you book an appointment some of the countries will not require you to be there present you can post your documents all right and if there's a need for interview then you have to come for an interview so if you go there in person we're going to check the documents and they will tell you the documents are okay you can pay your visa fee and wait the visa fee as well also depends on the country so you also have to check on the website in some countries you'll be asked a series of questions all right and the series of questions that you'll be asked is depending on how you filled in the application form maybe uh, what do you want to do in brazil how many of you are going what are you actually doing like work profession they'll be asking you a whole series of questions but very easy and pretty straightforward questions there is something that you can also add to your application form is you have like the cover letter where you explain the reason why you're going there and the things which you'll be doing so you can also add an itinerary which is also very important now the processing times depends and it depends on the embassy which you applied in for example the embassy in thailand will just take a week okay so if you apply on monday you have to get your your visa will be ready by next week monday some embassies will also have maybe more requirement because i've seen an embassy that has a requirement where you have to prove like you have to buy health insurance make sure you go through the requirements and see that if there's an addition you can also add the validity of the visa for we used to have like a year multiple entry visa but now it's been changed to 90 days it depends also on where the embassy is located some people can receive one year others will receive three months you can stay there from three months from the time you enter and you can also extend the three months depending on the type of visa you took maybe single entry or multiple entry so that is it about brazilian visa if you have any question you can leave it in the comment section if you find this video interesting leave a thumbs up share like subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you get notified every time i upload ciao